Hi all. Today's tip is going to be on how to fix Wi-Fi problems on your Mac. Now most of the time when my friends call me and they ask, uh, why isn't my Wi-Fi working? I always tell them to start off with these seven tips in order to make sure that at least we're starting with a actual connection to the Wi-Fi. Once you go through these seven tips, I'll, t I'll show you one last thing that you can do to try to get your Wi-Fi up and running. So the first one is to ensure your wireless connection is on and the right Wi-Fi is selected. So you have Wi-Fi up here. You do have to make sure that the check mark is on the Wi-Fi that's really yours. If you don't have that check mark, then you will not be on the right Wi-Fi and that could be causing the problems. So again, uh, you see these little Wi-Fi connection up here, select it and see what's checked. If the appropriate one is not checked, that's the first one. Also, if your Wi-Fi is off, so if, for example, you see turn Wi-Fi on, that would be why you're not connecting to your Wi-Fi. So that is another area where you can fix your Wi-Fi. You should also, number two, check all connections on your computer and cable modem. If a cord has become loose or been pulled out, tighten it. A lot of times you're simply, your connection on your cable modem or somebody kicked something in your router and it got loose. I would check all the connections and make sure that they're insecurely. The next one and number three, which is the most important one, is reboot your cable modem and wireless router. Uh, the reason why this is very important is a lot of times the cable modem could be functioning perfectly, but they did some work outside of your house, your apartment that you don't even know about, and suddenly your cable modem has lost access. Rebooting it actually fixes this 90% of the time. 90% of the time when my friends call me and I tell them just reboot your uh, cable modem and then your router, it usually works. So sometimes you have two items that are connected to your cable modem, one that's like passing out uh, RJ45 wires to it and then there's one where the cable modem is. Just make sure you do it in the order where you restart your cable modem, then you restart your uh, router or if you have a, a switch or something connected to it. Um, after that, if there's been a cable problem in your area, it may be necessary to reboot the modem in order to reestablish a proper connection. And this is often the case, uh, you know, where people, there is a cable problem in your area and nobody really checks on the websites of your cable company to see if maybe there's an outage. Because if there's an outage, nothing that you're going to do is going to fix it, and you may have to call your cable company to let them know that your particular line is down. Sometimes it's only your line, and there is a real problem. You could check on your cable modem. There are usually lights, and the lights indicate whether or not you're receiving Wi-Fi directly from the cable company. If you're not, then of course I would recommend that you call the cable company and find out why you're not getting Wi-Fi. But uh, it's not just Wi-Fi, but even the cable connection and for Internet. Um, if uh, you're not sure which lights to look at, go onto the website of your local cable company. Usually match the router or the modem uh, to the one that you have, and it'll tell you which light shows the Internet, and that's usually helpful at discovering why the Wi-Fi is not working. Also, make sure you're within the range of your wireless router. Sometimes there's a conflict or... It, you know, something that is getting in the way of your Wi-Fi getting to your computer. So often what ends up happening here is uh, you have interference. And you could be in the same apartment I've seen, especially in Manhattan, um, where you have interference. And you may need to get an additional bridge unit which plugs into the wall that allows you to extend the range of your Wi-Fi. Um, so get closer to your Wi-Fi. Um, where the router is, and if you see you're getting it there, but you're not getting it in another room and you want to extend it, uh, there are some things on Amazon to extend the range that just plug into the wall, hook up to your Wi-Fi, and have worked in many cases with my friends. So I'd highly recommend that if you're not getting the Wi-Fi uh, in a particular room. The next is always to reboot the computer, and this is a funny one, because after you reset your modem um, and you still don't get Wi-Fi, just reboot your computer. Sometimes you need to reboot your computer and reset your modem again just to make sure everything is working. The next is, if you really don't have Wi-Fi, you don't know how to check your uh, modem, check your cable connection. If you have Wi-Fi coming along with your television, if you're not getting television reception, you're certainly not going to get internet connection because they kind of go hand in hand. Well, after you try steps one through seven, if it's still not working and you've restarted your computer, go into the Apple menu, go to System Preferences, go to Network, uh, the next thing you should do is click Assist Me. 
There is a diagnostic feature here that you can hit uh, Wi-Fi showing me that my network status is all green. So if it's red here, it's going to be a problem right away. Hit continue. Pick your Wi-Fi. Set, hit always allow. And it'll go through a process. A lot of times just doing this for as long as the operating systems have been around for Mac, for some reason just going into network diagnostic sometimes resets uh, the Wi-Fi and it suddenly comes up. So that's another thing that you can try. Hope you enjoy and uh, hope that helps fixes your Wi-Fi.